thank you for joining us. Are we squeaking? Yes, we're like sliding. Oh, mama. Um, tonight, and Linda Lim presents Good View TV on this, I want to say it's a nice night, right? It is a nice night. It's a little cold, a little chilly, and we're looking forward to even chillier weather tomorrow here in the New York area. I sound like a weather person. But that's okay, because here it's nice and warm with this lovely, lovely lady who has the hottest accent <gasps> that I've ever heard. Yeah, it's a New York the, accent. What you talking about, no, girl? No, she's got the British. <laughs> she's got the British, and she's so dramatic, and she sounds so sensual and sexy. Oh. The one and only Miss Loretta. Hello, darlings. <laughs> What's up, Fabian? Wow, my that's my brother. My brother's on, really? like, watching me right now. Hello, darlings. I keep well, forgetting to look at the people that are watching us over here. Yes, yes. Well, Hello. thank Hello. you for joining in, and Hello. thank you. Um, wow, so as you can see, we have a full table. Um, well, we have a full table full of um, things <laughs> other than computers and phones. Um, we're preparing. We're preparing for Friendsgiving? Is that what we have, a little thing today, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have wine. Um, we have a pumpkin cake, and I have to eat, well, drink. This is what I'm drinking, peoples, okay? Only because I like it a lot, <laughs> which is the um, Godiva white chocolate. Ew. Yes. It just makes me feel nice because <laughs> it tastes so good. It's so creamy, <laughs> right? Yes. You know what it is? I, I love that. I'm into, like, the... I don't know, but I guess that chocolate taste would mm. be like um, Kahluan milk. Um, like a Bailey's, like an Irish right, cream. Like some, but you know what? I had that before, and I'm not so... I can't get a thing for Bailey's unless it's Bailey's like with ice cream or something. Like, I don't know. That's but, a very um, rich drink, right? Like very, very... I mean, I can imagine... It's like ice cream. So can you imagine actually having a bowl of ice cream and pouring Bailey's on top of it? But oh they my do. I'm sure... I've had that before. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, I'm not sure where, but I'm sure a lot of places I've had the, the, the floats and with the Bailey's, and it tastes good like that. Yeah. But for some reason, on its own, like the way I have, I have like Kahlua and milk or yes. cream, you know, heavy cream or half and half. Okay. Um, do you ever put it in coffee? I don't. Because I am not a coffee drinker. Me neither. No. Sorry, that was really loud. I am loud. I know. I'm a loud person. So I feel like I'm whispering. I'm no, sure. it's okay. That's who you are. And you have to be who you are, okay? Always. <laughs> but yes, I'm not a coffee person. And it's not just because I'm English. Because yes, I'm a tea. Like literally, if you look in my cupboards, there's a million teas. But I, is I that just true? It's not just a cliche? It's it not. Is... Yeah. It's not, uh, Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it is a cliche. Oh, bloody hell. It's a cliche. Sorry. It's... <laughs> Tea time. Well, it yeah, is. because I remember when we first met. Yeah. <laughs> which, by the way, I'm still waiting for my interview on your podcast. Oh, I don't listen. Okay. No, 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 no. Mine wasn't for a podcast, darling. Mine's for a radio station. Oh, for the radio. I'll station. reveal once I know all. You know who you are. Okay. <clears throat> so when we first started uh, preparing to try and get together to do an interview that she wanted to interview moi, yeah. she just kept saying, oh, we'll just go somewhere and have some tea, like somewhere, d and I'm like, tea? <laughs> like, who has tea? Like, we, said, we can have some drinks, or I've never heard of the tea. See, the purpose of it was like basically having high tea and a chat, as, you, as we do in England, over the kitchen table, you make a cup of tea, you have your scones, you have your, your cucumber sandwiches, or if you go to Harrods or something, you have the high tea, you have a good chin wag with your friends. I know Americans, you're going to say, what's a chin wag? Yeah, what is that? What's what a is chin chin wag? A chin wag. <laughs> Chin wag. A chin so wag. So basically, it's your chin wagging up and down, talking. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that like the? Is that like a chatting term? Yes. Like an English chatting. But it's term? kind of more of a Cockney rhyming slang type of thing. So what if like you have like the double? Chin <laughs> like then you can have that? chin waggings. <laughs> Many chins wagging. <laughs> Let's have a tea and several chins wagging. Cheers. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. We have to look in each other's eyes. Okay. Not because we're ma romantically involved, okay. but because we do not want seven years of bad sex. Is that, is that, okay, then here. Ah. <laughs> I definitely don't want seven years of bad sex. Not seven, one, seven seconds of bad sex. What are you talking about? My goodness gracious me. Just imagine. But anyway, <sighs> no. that was great. <laughs> Anywho, oh, that's nice. Mm. Hi, people. Thank you for tuning in. Hi, people. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so, are you ready for Thanksgiving? You know what? Are you cooking? Well, 
Listen, darling, I cook um, I don't cook four much. dishes in my whole repertoire. I hear you. <laughs> so I'm there being, you. Thanksgiving is a very American tradition, obviously, which I have okay. certainly taken on because I enjoy anything that involves eating good food. Um, so it's not popular in... No, because Thanksgiving is about the pilgrims mm, coming and taking over the Native yeah, American hello. land. Oh, why don't I think um, that? They That's didn't right. do that in England, so okay. we don't have that tradition. So what tradition do you have that's similar like that? Uh, we have... Oh, no, okay, no, I was going to say Guy... Well, Halloween, which I think has become a big thing now in England, okay. but we have prior to that is Guy Fawkes Night, which I think... Or is it after that? Oh, my gosh, someone English, please correct me. Oh, Jesus. English people... Guy Fawkes Night, when is that? There's not, a lot, of of, there's not a lot of English people. Oh, no, I know what it is. What? It is, remember, remember the 5th of November. Helen, you know that. Helen's in Shanghai. She's not going to bloody be able to respond. But, <laughs> so Guy Fawkes Night is 5th of November. Okay. Halloween, obviously, is October 30th. Or okay. 31st, excuse me, 31st. Um, so, we Halloween was not a big thing when I was growing up. But I think it's become more... Americanized so I think okay. more and more people are celebrating it and it's a fun holiday so I like the fact that we are doing more with it you know dressing up and walking around and demanding uh, sweets Candy. from people it's fabulous Trick or treat. yeah do you know what I mean I like yeah, that okay but um, yeah Thanksgiving is something that you guys do here which I've taken on I think it's a fabulous thing because it just anything that promotes more family time or more giving or more being grateful right Okay, yeah, thing. definitely. Um, I think the first thing that you think of Thanksgiving is a turkey, you know. Um, I love turkey, personally. I know hubby doesn't. Um, what part of the turkey do you prefer? Th the leg, definitely. Yes. Absolutely. You got to talk stays November 5th. That's what I said. November 5th. Remember, remember the 5th <laughs> of November. Any English people, just let me know. Oh, well, we need to, we need more of these Eng uh, English people if you're out there. Well, because, uh, yes, I mean I know the time difference and everything, but hold on, it's only it's two a.m. Come on, people. But I'm even here. <laughs> you don't you don't meet people that are, are from um, where you are. Here? Oh, I've I've met a lot of British people here, which okay. is it's it's an incredible thing, especially in the city. There's a lot. <laughs> the Brits are taking over. The Brits are the taking Brits over. The Brits are coming. <laughs> oh the Brits are coming. So we are we are yeah. There's a lot okay, of okay. There's gonna be an invasion. Uh, oh, I think that's already weird. happened. Darling. Uh oh. We just Listen, don't know it yet. We lost you once before. <laughs> and that way we're all just kind of seeping through. Don't be afraid. <laughs> we're seeping through and coming to Long Island. I, I love that. I see. I see. I have one right next to me. Sneaked into my life. She sneaked into my life unexpectedly. Hello. Here she is. Hello. <laughs> okay. But, um, we have one sip of wine and we're like, anyway. Well, oh, you have you're. a sip of wine. I know, right? I have my... Uh, <laughs> Godiva, Ooh. a chocolate Godiva. Ooh. Anybody want to be uh, make me the spokesperson for Godiva? I was gonna say, um, <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can we zoom in? No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> too late. Anyway. But anyway, so yeah. yeah, so we're getting ready for that. Um, I actually personally don't don't do Thanksgiving. I don't cook Thanksgiving. Now. Why not? I just don't. Um, it's just the family. Um, you know, between uh, the mother-in-law and. The auntie, they kind of like um, every other year they alternate. Okay. So the only holiday I do do is on Christmas. Yes. And um, then they come over to my home and then I will cook the traditional, you know, arroz con guandules. ¿Qué? Y pernil. ¿Qué? Y pastelillos, empanadas. ¿Qué? Eh, plátanos maduros. Plátanos. Mm. Sí. Eh, ¿Qué más? Patanos maduros. Coquito. Mm. Yo hago mucho coquito. 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 Yes. Co oh, really? <laughs> so I'll do the typical, you know. But that's about the only time that I really go hard on it. I'm not like a cook cook. Really? I don't know. So every day, like, do you have a certain dish or two dishes that you cook throughout the year for the family? No. Um. Um. Crickets? Somebody Coquitos. help me. Coquitos. Coqui, 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 coqui. You know that song? Yeah. <laughs> we know. Puerto Rico. No. Da, 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 da. Do we have to pay for that? No. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. But um, no, I'll, I'll cook. My 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 family tends to be a little bit picky when it comes to food. Ah. Um, you know, they prefer uh, a lot of um, pasta. Oh. You know, it's so how it's so easy. You know, the pasta throwing whatever. But you know, when it comes to when I cook. Spanish food, I cook a lot of it. Yes. And, you know, sometimes it's a waste. No, because, leftovers. Leftovers are Well, delicious. they don't. They, my family don't eat well, leftovers. Hello, that's the problem I have uh, with certain children in my household. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> She's calling Tiana and Gianni. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did I just uh, call you, them out? No, you sneezed. It's oh, right. I sneezed. <laughs> so it, it's hard for me to, like, 
keep because they're they just they tend to be very picky and they do their own thing they go to school they work they come you know they pick okay. up something on the way that you know so sometimes it just leaves me very like okay, can i take I your need... leftovers absolutely i so, would love that somebody would take pleasure okay, in eating my listen, leftovers because remember i texted you the other day oh i'm making a pot of um, I know, chicken and vegetable so soup funny. do you want some <laughs> like literally i would put some in a container i would bring it to you if you want i to know do. no but wait. i would take the leftovers if you cook like a big meal yeah, that absolutely. you're used to doing okay. i would so take the leftovers i'll definitely take you up on okay, that okay especially the platanos there we go Oh, you just can come over and you just have it there. Okay, that's even better. Okay, all right. Got the invitation. That's what I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, but um, so I just wanna. Um, so I'm gonna give a quick shout out. Um, I wanna get a shout out to DJ Symphony. Um, tomorrow we have a. Um, there's an interview um, that we have going on, and you almost check it out at 6 p.m. at the Wu Invasion Podcast.com. So we have a little clip of that. All righty, check it out. All right, yeah, check it out. You know who it is, man. This is DJ Symphony in the building. This is an exclusive interview with my homegirl, Linda Lynn, representing Brooklyn, New York. That's right. I want to ask you, as an independent artist, how do you go about structuring your music? And how do you know if you got a hit song or not? Is that a oh, dog? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would do. <laughs> exactly. But go ahead. Um, yes, I have a Zoom. So, okay, so let me explain to you how I operate. Okay. This dog is going ham. <laughs> I told you this was probably the, <laughs> the worst place. <laughs> but go ahead, I'll listen. <laughs> So as you see, that, you know, I have to say that was one of the most funniest um, interviews. Uh, once again, shout out to DJ Symphony. Uh, it was so much fun. Uh, we're trying to, you know, conduct, you know, this interview. And, you know, whoever knows me, I have a lot of pets, a lot of... But usually there are times where it, it can be quiet and there's nothing going on. Mm. But, you know, uh, all of a sudden we're, we're, we're talking, we're having... And all of a sudden my dog's just starts one barking into the into the interview and, and as you he's see, a big was, dog and he's beautiful yeah it's well. beautiful beautiful and he's, um, and he's, he's king big. corso beautiful yeah. king corso black yeah. you've seen him yes. he's like a panther yeah black panther we call him he's beautiful but um so yeah so <laughs> he's definitely like, let me in yeah I he just talk. barks and and then um i don't know if he caught that too but then i have my parrots in the background just screaming too and i'm just like uh maybe i should have gone into the car and have an interview you know because but you know what that's just me that's my that's home life. and what am i gonna do you that's know but, your life. so it was so much fun doing it so tomorrow please everyone catch this interview don't miss it um tomorrow at 6 p.m go to wu tang um wu invasion podcast.com mm -hmm. at 6 p.m um don't miss it it's gonna be fun explain so. the wu in the uh, title wu. well wu if you don't know wu you know come from wu tang wu tang, wu -Tang clan and whoever don't know who wu tang clan is then you know then i don't know where you've been but <laughs> dj symphony uh is you know uh one of uh, the official dj for um for the group and he travels a lot you know um with them and he does a lot of individual djing for the members and he does his own thing and he has a you know dj academy and he does you know his radio and pro he's just doing so many things mm -hmm. i'm so happy for him I'm proud of him we've known each other for quite a long time and i'm so happy that we actually got to um finally do this interview you know and we're going to be working on some stuff in, in the near future mm -hmm. so like i said tomorrow 6 p.m check it out wound invasion podcast.com so that was good, right? <clears throat> Am I the like official spokesperson? I know, for I know, I know. Ooh, invasion. For, and for the liquor thing, <laughs> you're getting a lot of endorsements today. I, yes, you know what? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I pay my dues. Can somebody endorse me for something, please? I'll be your manager. All right. We'll get you sorted out. Thank sweetie. you. Thank Latino you. Latino Barbie in the house. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why I have this accent, but you know. But you know. But you know. <laughs> but you know. But um. So, um, mm. what I wanted to say, so I wanted to touch on something so funny that happened. Um, and I think I mentioned this earlier. Yeah. Um, if anybody that knows me and that, you know, you don't have to know me well, but just enough to know very little things bother me. Um, I'm always smiling. I'm always happy. Always I, positive. I am a Libra. So that, ha you know, I am a very 
you know, well balanced, try to be fair, try to, you know, so I, I don't have, you know, my dis disposition, my demeanor is very low key. Mm -hmm. I'm very observant. Mm -hmm. I don't bother nobody, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm cool. But there was an incident that I have to just call this out because this is so some people, their, you know, their mindset and the behavior, I just don't know. Um, when we're talking about nowadays what's going on, especially, and I bring this up because we're in the season with the Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and the Friendsgiving and all that. And all the, the, all the crap, all the shit that's going out in the world, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All these tragedies, all these, you know, dis natural disasters, you know, all this hate that's going on with the people. Like, we're supposed to learn to... Oh my God, get along and get over all this petting. Like, like, you know, like that saying, like, can we just all get along? Like, what is the, so, but there's always going to be somebody, you know, and as being, miserable, me people. being in the public eye, mm -hmm. and I'm sure like a lot of people I do, you know, you're always going to have those people who are unhappy mm -hmm. and who always um, are bored and have a lot of time on their hands and they are always going to, instead of supporting you mm -hmm. and, you know, they, they do the opposite. You know, they want to bring you down. Mm -hmm. They make them feel, you know, to make themselves feel better, they got to bring you down. So with that being said, over the weekend, I had, um, I'm not even calling out the name, but I had some hate comment put um, on, you know, on my pages. Now, obviously, this is a person that, um, it's irrelevant now. I'm going to put no mind to give names or anything like that. But oh, I it? wish you would. No, no. Oh, I wish no, you I'm not would. Giving, I'm not giving them that clout. Because you know what? He probably gives no, a lot of hate to other people. No, he's probably watching right now. I know he probably gives a lot of hate to other people because he's so miserable That's okay. himself. Well, it's and not I'm that important. I'm sorry for you. I'm not that important. I'm sorry for He's you. not that important for me to even get his name. I'm just right. trying to make a point. Mm. So we don't even follow each other on social media or anything like that. But you're going to come on my page and you're going to stalk my page because the comments that you made were on, on, on every picture. On picture that were like not even recent you know and I stayed and I'm thinking I was like wow is this what you call the true fans is this what the people because you're clearly on my page you're making comments that were unprovoked mm -hmm. we've never met we don't follow each other on social media so what provokes you to come on my page very late at night obviously because this was early in the morning he's lying sitting there and, drinking you know but why me why Ryan. you choose me why you picked me you know what i'm saying like what did i do because i did nothing to you we never even met it's not even like he probably tried to hit on me and i turned him down and now he's angry nothing of that i remember anyway and it makes me <laughs> think what is wrong with people and especially so the reason why i'm bringing this up is you're supposed to be a professional Okay, because the store. You're, because he has a professional, professional job. He is a PR person, is that right? Yes. You know who you are, well, sir. Well, anyway, the point I'm trying to say why? Like, what is the sense of that? But me, I'm not gonna, you know, I think I'm more mature than that. You know, I, I just don't usually respond to anybody's comments when they make it on my, I, you know, to me it's funny. Other people actually do it for me because they see it and they like, they stick up for me immediately. I don't even have to stick up block for myself. Them. That's what the block button is but for. But you know what? Block you know, them no. Block them. Some people Get out. do, but you know what I say? Get out of my social media. I'm not going to block me because I want you to see my shit and cry. Don't you see that memes <laughs> that are going around? That's me. You want to make those comments because obviously you've been on my page stalking me. You like what you see. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you, I'm going to entertain you some more because you know what? This is not the end of it. Mm. There's going to be so much more. There's going to be so much to talk about. I got to see what comes next. So I don't block people. I, I really don't, mm. you know, because they're so curious about you mm. <laughs> that they'll just make another fake page and they'll watch it from there. Oh, yes, you know? you're right. So you're right. it doesn't matter. Right. I don't I don't go around doing right. that. Okay. My thing is, right. can we just all get along? Can we just give out positive vibes? And support each other. Yeah, let's support. Give compliments, you know. Support that one. Uplift that one. Somebody's and if you have nothing to that, say, don't say, say nothing. nothing at all. You know, that is the point. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Um, so, yeah. So, that was my um, my little tip. It's all right, weekend, darling. So. It's all right. It's all right. You're allowed to have a rant. I mean, I wouldn't personally give them the time of day without I mentioning their name. No, because you know, no. I want if they if they are so bold as to sit at their computer or on their phone at two a.m. with a freaking brandy in their hands, making horrible comments. People ought to know who they are, but it's your prerogative to not mention them. I call them twits. Twits. But anyway, moving on from that, it's Cheers, irrelevant. Twits. Here. 
Cheers to Because we're moving on to better and bigger things. Okay. Because things are happening. Things are moving. So people pay attention. Mm -hmm. Stay awoke. Oh. Linda Lynn is coming. She said stay you. awoke. That's right. But speaking of. Yes. So we have an amazing, amazing, talented guy tonight. Okay. I'm so excited. Um, not only is he an all-around beautiful person. Mm -hmm. You know, his music. Um, inspirational. Um, very spiritual. Soulful, spiritual. Yeah. You know, and um, and I just love. I can't wait to start working with him. We already said it. We're gonna we're gonna be doing things. You know, because I'm already loving his vibe. I'm loving everything about him. So um, let's see if we can give a little clip so we can let the people know a little bit what we're talking about and who we're talking about. So let's hear that clip a little bit. So much lamb lamb pain yeah. um welcome What's to cook for you tv i'm so excited that you're here um just watching your video um that song beautiful what inspired you to to sing and, and write such a beautiful song that song was about um that song was about actually going through a pretty bad breakup okay yeah a, a divorce actually mm. <laughs> so okay. like you know so it's kind of like after i stepped out of it um, I found a lot of life in life, you know, kind of okay. stepped, stepped back wow, into Okay, wow, that's very inspirational. I like about found life in life. Yeah. Right, but, you know, for being that type of song, uh, yeah. for that the meaning of it, um, it, it seems like a happy song. You yeah, know, like, I mean, it, it, it sounds is. like it, it doesn't, you know, it's not like your typical hate yeah, kind of like, you yeah. know. No, I don't mean, I mean, I'm totally not in that plane mentally right now. Like, it's just not happening anymore for me to be a negative person about anything. Everything is something that I'm trying to grow from, trying to feel you know, like I'm gaining knowledge from. And, okay. You know, I use mistakes and pain to get through things. My last name's Pain, so. Mm -hmm. I have no, you know? So go back to the beginning. Where did you Where did you start from? When did you realize that you wanted to be a singer or a songwriter? How did that all start? Well, when out? I was a kid, I loved animals, and I thought I was going to be a veterinarian until I was about. My dad made the mistake of bringing home an old piano from his job. Oh, oh. <laughs> and he left it there. And, um, but it wasn't a mistake. All right, yeah. but it wasn't a mistake. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. but that totally just turned my world upside down. I was like, wait a minute. Because, you know, music is like, uh, it's crazy. You can play certain chords. I play a lot of instruments. Okay. So you can play chords. Then it's just like anybody anywhere can understand it. Yes. Right. And that kind of music is universal. Because I, I kind of did that with words at first. I was like, oh, you can use a word to create a 3D picture, like a purple horse. Right. With green sneakers on. Yes. And an orange ponytail. Yes. We can all see it. Yes. You know. So then I was like, wait a minute, piano does that too. This is crazy. Yeah. So like it just blew my mind. And I figured out the piano probably like in not like perfectly, but I figured out mm -hmm. how to do intervals and stuff in like a night. Wow. And then after that, it was just a wrap. Wow. And um, I wasn't sure I wanted to be a singer at that point. I actually started out battle rapping and beatboxing. Really? Yeah, beatboxing and battle wow. rapping. Wow. Yeah. So hold on, that battle rapping, like... for those of us that aren't in that world, so we might have watched something like Eight Mile, so we know yeah. it's like, you know, you're standing there and you're basically battling yep. with rap yeah. with someone else. Completely opposite of what I am now. It was all about uh, tearing the next person down. Mentally, wow. emotionally, and sometimes physically, if the battle got bad enough. Oh, <laughs> you know, wow. so, yeah. how oh. far did how, how how well did you do? I gotta see I this. Just, when did you bring a clip? I would have loved to see that. Oh <laughs> man, I was I was pretty good. My name is Lemuel, and he's a king in the Bible. So oh. my, my name ended up being King Pain for wow. probably like probably like eight years, and I was I was a beast. Are you like on YouTube and stuff? Yeah, I got some stuff. Oh, I'm definitely that. gonna check that out, and everybody better check that out too. It's a total different person, though. You're gonna see me growling. That's right. I love that. Oh you my know, god, crazy. I love that. I was wearing I chains. That. I had a grill in my mouth. Totally different person. 
Simply but I love that. I love that type yeah. of. I love when people can just go at each other and yeah. just you know spit like from yeah. the moment. I can't even do yeah. that. I can't even think of two words to rhyme and like yeah. To, like uh, yeah, you in my car it's and, a, and, and I'm I driving my, far, my yeah. far to oh. my you in my heart it, it, it and you know like it's, that's hard. It's hard. It's rhyme? hard. But it also gives you then it gives you the understanding of the power of music. You know, because like you're literally. I was practicing hurting people's feelings, so I was practicing getting to your heart, and then like wow. now I kind of switched it up to a whole other way. Like, okay. So the change came from where? The change must have happened. Um, man, the change must have happened after probably after probably I got hurt. You know, uh, I was a, a black kid, and I moved to a like predominantly white area in Long Island. Mm. So there was a lot of isolation. So there was a lot of weird pain and hurt for the first couple of years. Mm. And then I realized, oh, they just, they don't understand you. They don't know you. So yeah. it just started being funny. Then that pain kind of brought me into, you don't have to be the weird outcast, you know what I mean? Yes. And then I was like, just because you're different doesn't mean it's not. So I started using my different, like, you see my smile is kind of nice, right? Yeah. So like, <laughs> they used to like play around and call me horse mouth. And I was like, oh my God, they hate me. Oh, but right. then I realized like, no. Then they elected me for the best smile in sixth grade, and I was exactly. like, wait a minute, I'm so confused. Oh, yeah, and like, he used to be like, shows your stomach, like, he has abs, he's so young, how does that happen? And I was wow. like, is this a good or a bad thing? Like, I don't... So then I just realized, oh, this can be love, like, this can be fun. So yeah. I went from angry battling to funny as heck, and then I went to, to piano playing and singing. And I've really, um, like, I've vocal coached people and stuff like that, just oh. because People always say, oh, I can't sing. And I'm like, yo, if you can call your mom upstairs and yell her name and hold the note. Stop right now, because yeah. I always say, if you can speak, yeah, yeah. you can sing. Yeah, yeah. It it's just training. The, 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 the ability to sing with the good notes or bad notes or whatever, mm -hmm. that varies. Yeah. But if you can speak, you can sing. Training. Right? It's really training. Right. So I, I had a lot of friends that were kind of like, bro, stick to the rap. And yo, I'm telling you, you're killing Stick to the rap. And you're not a singer. And I was like, okay. Yeah, okay. Like, you know. Didn't I hear you sing? Yeah, Didn't nah. I just hear what you have? Yeah. Like, now they're like, bro, don't rap no more. I'm telling you, stop rapping, bro. Just be killing <laughs> it with the singing. singing. I'm like, yeah. oh, you know what? Well, I mean, I must say, for, for, for me, vocally, you remind me of, the, do, do you know Carl? Shit. Sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Shit. Carl Thomas? Carl. Oh, um, I know the name, but... I don't, really, I don't really know. It's very soulful and deep. It's like very rich, yeah. very chocolate, like just, just <laughs> like chocolate. velvet. Just that. Yeah. I know, I'm, I, I, I use, <laughs> I, that's, that's the way chocolate I like to velvet. describe Candy what I voice. hear, Candy what voice. I hear. But do you know what I mean? But it's very, very rich yeah. voice. So did it always start out like that? Or did you kind of have vocal training to kind of get Um that? Well, it started out kind of like, when I first started singing, I was yeah. like trying to sing. So I'd be like, Realizing that I'm trying to sing rather than singing a song, I'm like, oh, baby, you, oh. you like trying. Oh. And then I started realizing after I got some coaching and I understood what your vocal cords look like and what yeah. they're attached to your pecs and stuff like that, right. I realized, why is my voice so raspy then? She was like, because you have thick vocal cords. So if you put a lot of wind behind there, yes. then you can have a big voice. And yes. I was like, oh, and I was like learning how to be a bass and a bent, like baritone. So, so it was a little bit, a mix of training, a mix of experimenting, and just, uh, then some real intensive training. I had this lady named Kari Cole. Shout out to her if she's watching. She's amazing. She coached Coldplay. She coached my big sister, so she's a monster. So oh. talk to me. You mentioned your big sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we allowed yeah. to talk about your big yeah, sister? Yeah, yeah, of course. Everybody's always like, <laughs> I don't want to break it up, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't, I'm not, because you're your own artist, like, nah. Yeah, she's, but it's, if music yeah. runs in a family and yeah. everyone's talented, what can you do? And then on top of that, like, she's my big sister. Like, mm. my really my big sister. Like, mm. we talk every day. I talked before this interview. She um Aww. she told me to take my jacket off. She said, "Do you know, I was like, you know, so, so Although like, your jacket was really nice, I, I know, commented yeah, on it when I we first met. Right? They yeah. match my shoes. Yeah. I think we should, you should have left them. Yeah. No, yeah. it's all right. No, yeah. it's good because it, this. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, she's uh she's super so, super. Dope. Please tell everyone who your sister is. Oh, her name's uh Chrisette Michelle. Um, she sings Lost One with Jay Z, uh, Aston Martin Music. She dropped like four or five albums. She just dropped Ooh, a new one called Out of Control. Voice. Her voice is beyond. Nice. Shout out to her and her thank you so album. much. We have to actually yeah. thank, oh, yeah, thank her for, you know, guiding him in the right way. She's exactly. absolutely doing a great job. Yeah, and seriously. I'm so glad that we're sitting here next to him because yeah. we're going to be learning a lot from him too. So. Oh, exactly. oh, yeah, heck yeah. I love that. You always got to pass that around. So right. did she support you when you when you decided and realized that singing was going to be your thing? No longer uh, angry rapping, but like now becoming a singer. Was, yeah, was she supportive? absolutely. She was always... She's a she's a butterfly, you know. She's kind of like a unicorn. She's yeah. like, if you say you want to do anything, she's gonna say, well, if that's what you think, do you really feel it in your heart? Then you oh. gotta do it and just make it happen. Like, we gotta like, meet you. Just gotta believe it. <laughs> so she's super awesome, yeah. Definitely. Um, and uh, actually, when she started touring, I had written a song on one of her albums, and she toured with it and stuff. But every time she went on tour, she'd be like, come on, 
she could come with me and she just had me open up. At one point, I was tour managing wow. for her, so like we got Ooh. super tight like that. Oh, that's, that's actually wonderful. why, because um, we were talking before, and I said I went to Five Towns College. Yes, yeah. that's. I mean, I asked her before because I was like, okay, I know Chrisette went to Five Towns, yeah. and the person we potentially have in common, Bobby Atiko. But I think he might have been in your sister's grade. Yeah, he might have been. Okay. Yeah, he so you were, you were yeah. still like a little, little, munchkin, little, little munchkin going. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't know, but yeah, he's like, so that's the person we have in common. Because I went to see Chris up, like, you know, years ago or oh, whatever. Yeah, just like yeah. fabulous, fabulous musician. Played her albums over and over again. My husband will attest to that. So it's oh, wonderful to know awesome. that the talent wow. is in the family and that oh, you're yeah. doing, that the fact that you've had this journey of coming from rah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to this yeah. is, so tell me about the style of music you write now and the content of the, the, the music that you write now. Okay, so there's a, there's a couple different, I touch on a million different worlds always. Okay. You know, my main inspiration comes from like, a, it's crazy to say this as a grown man, but it's like Disney music, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of... Explain. Like, uh, I think Elton John's one of the a greatest writers in the world. world. Oh, there you go. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that, yes. that, that, yes. um, can you feel the love tonight? Like, that's just yes. my joy. And I'm like, hey. I'm like, uh, oh, when I hear the chords in like, uh, Aladdin, you know what I mean? Uh, what's that song? Just ever, okay, hold on. Um, yeah. um, oh, cause there's just so many. Um, oh. I can show I can, I can show yeah. you the world. Yeah, yeah. that joint. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even yeah. know the words, but Father goes oh, west. Because it really so touches your heart. Yeah, and that's why when people ask me, they're like, yo, you know the new artist, blah blah. I'm like, oh man, you don't understand. Like, I don't even I don't even let that stuff get into my head now. Right. It's kinda hard because like, you know, once you've been through a lot of stuff and you start realizing there's a lot of darkness out there in this world. Yeah. Absolutely. I can't even That's listen what we're to just certain, talking about. Yeah I, can't, yeah. Can't, yeah, I can't even listen to certain songs. It's just like I won't let it really get into my spirit. So, but right now I'm taking an approach where I'm making sure that they know that I have in my heart that battle rap type stuff, which mm -hmm. is um, some R&B-ish type stuff, you know. But that's going to come right before... I hit him with the, then sit down at the piano or okay. like, you know, play a guitar for them or something like that. So. Which is wonderful because it's all, yeah. uh, it gives, uh, for someone listening to an album or watching you perform, mm -hmm. it gives the, 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 the diversity, which yeah. is fantastic to observe and to listen to as well. Yeah. And to hear your stories, because I know you were a player. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what you I mean? I know like, you were a player. Yeah, and a player. Not a that player, kind of player. player. <laughs> I was Wait, both kind one? of players at one oh, point. Oh, I was a player. You know? yeah. As yeah, you Americans say, I was a player. <laughs> so so having player. having come like full circle, mm -hmm. you know, and just kind of realizing that you've lived a certain life, which now you are not a part of, but it, it does obviously yeah. inform yeah. your writing. And yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. And then... Uh, the experiences you go through in life, like it's great to be able to sit down and hit a switch and bring yourself back somewhere and just have content. Like I just, content just flows out of my head, you know? Right. As long as you have chord knowledge, pianos or whatever instrument you're using, and then you feel, you can put the two together and it comes together. Like writer's block is not really a thing for me. It's a matter of wow. how vulnerable I want to allow myself to be. Okay. And like, sometimes it's weird. You're in the room and be like, oh, I don't want to feel like this. So right can now. you, like, can, oh, can you like start playing the music or, you know, R&B yeah. and all of a sudden come out rapping and something and yeah. like talk a little bit. And, yeah. like, and then yeah. I come back <laughs> to be <laughs> me. <laughs> no, yeah. And you don't know me because I've been back in the day yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. from yeah. and I'm growing up and I like, you know? No, I've got a lot of stuff like that. I've got a lot of stuff like that in my computer and I'm always like, should I drop this? Yes, drop nah, it. This is scary. Drop man. it and surprise everyone. Bipolar record. This is crazy. This is so hold on. Well, on, on yeah. top of that, the fact that you play so many instruments. So what yeah. are the instruments? Can you tell us what instruments you play? Because um, this well, would be inspirational for any children out there that are, hopefully, okay. if you still have music in your schools, which please God you do, mm -hmm. how many instruments do you play? Okay, so it started with piano. Uh, no, I think it started with drums, sort of. started with drums, and then it kind of went to piano. And, okay. I, and once you get piano, piano kind of just it shows you the intervals they're called and like right in front of your face, black, okay. white, black, white. And you're like, okay, that's a fifth, that's a fourth. So then from piano, it just went everywhere. Like it went to guitar and then from guitar, it went to like bass cause bass is guitar, but with yeah. my strings, so it's almost easy. Yeah. And then like now at my house, like I have a clarinet inside of my house and a trumpet and a saxophone. So it's like, it's like, I don't play them all like the best of the best, yeah. but like if I had to record something for my track, I'll sit there for 45 minutes and get the notes down and just bust it out. So. Well, it's I definitely, really this dude, you know, uh, I don't know if I mentioned to you before, you know Loretta, um, she knows my daughter, um, is also an amazing singer. Oh, yeah, 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 check her out. Okay, yeah. have you check her out. heard? No, yeah, her, her Instagrams where she's just singing into the phone, it sounds like a mix. This like, is, like, what's I, going on? I have done this every time I've I heard know, it. Not, not put my fingers to my eyes, but literally cry. But not only yeah, that. 
but she's in a, she plays the guitar amazingly. Oh, wow. And I just want her, That's Tiana, if you're listening, please, mommy, please pick up your guitars again. She has two beautiful guitars right on her wall in her room. And, 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 and I'm like, please, just, you know, how Get beautiful. I wish I had that talent. I wish I can just pick up the guitar and I'll be sitting down in any coffee shop and anywhere oh, I go, yeah. where, you know, and just play. Yeah, carry yeah, on guitar yeah. the whole yeah, time. Yeah, because you're with, you know, and I think she has that potential and she can, she's so great at it and it just frustrates me sometimes when she doesn't do what I say. Oh, yeah. Okay, but mommy mode, go down for a minute. <laughs> Heal, heal, mommy. No, I feel, I feel it though. My boys yeah. do the same thing. We're in the club. They're like, bro, just sing to her. I'm like, oh. bro, that's not how. It, yeah. I just, I'm not just gonna bust out some notes. Yeah. In the club, I know, but, but you know, yeah. that's beautiful. Not only yeah. that you know one instrument, but you know multiple instruments. Several. Yeah. Yeah, they're my, they're my babies, man. I love those things. Oh, that's so. Amazing. What is your, what is your goal going forward? What is it that you're? Um, my goal choice? going forward is, I, 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 one day I want there to be a point where I could put something on the internet and literally half the world is gonna hear it, maybe in different mm -hmm. languages or whatever. You wow. know, it might wow. be a movie that drops or something. But I literally want to be, I want to have a massive massive amount of people that listen to my music and not just because it's like I want to be famous it's mm -hmm. just because I feel like there's a lot like I said a lot of stuff out there that's like yo I'm banging your girl and I'm something 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 it's kind of like okay I enough, got, right? I'm tired of, it's not even enough it's just uh, like I'm cringing when I'm yeah. listening to the radio like oh my god yeah you know what I mean so like yeah I just think that people are somewhat losing the knowledge of how beautiful music can be we yes. get it in movies and stuff when you play movies and we're just like yo remember that scene but then they don't they're not realizing the chords were crazy so and like, also music from the past and not yeah. to speak as someone who is in their 40s but like literally music if you go back not just listen to a certain genre of music from a certain time but just go back listen yeah. to the people that kind of started it all yeah, go yeah. way back and listen to what people were singing about no, it, it, yeah. you know it's so true you say that but but i have to say this because uh, um like i just had that interview last night yeah. um with dj symphony that you'll be hearing tomorrow yeah so we kind of got into that and i think there's sometimes so, and I was putting an example, like, I understand, like, our, I would say our generation, generation yeah. we listened to that music, yes. that, and, you know, and the rap when it came, you know, the original, the original. you're right, yeah. but now you have this new generation yeah. that is not looking at that as yeah. the, you know, they're looking yeah. up, so what's in their generation, mm -hmm. you know, so to us, we might say, oh, that's not real hip hop, or that's not real rap, oh, yeah, or look yeah. at the way that, you know, it's just, um, whatever the trap, you know, yeah. but when I listen to it sometimes, it's on my playlist, you know, because um, I'm being current with the times as well. Yeah. And sometimes to me, not every song has to mean something lyrically. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's how beats. it moves me. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I'm in the gym and yeah. I hear, you know, yeah. a 6 9 song, you know, yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. just like pumping and I'm just yeah. going, you know, I feel it, you know, and I don't necessarily say it's the best music, but it's, what the beat is moving you, you know? And That's the thing, though. No, I agree they with that. I feel agree. like it is the best music. And I'm like, I'm like, at the moment, I'm thinking like the way that Jay Z did with advising Beyonce. At some point, he said to her, you know what? Start using real musicians. This album you're going to do, start using real musicians. Get some live musicians in the studio mm. to create this album. And oh my goodness. Monstrosity. To hear a Crazy. live drum. I can't remember the name of the drummer, but I just want to eat his face. Sorry, <laughs> husband. You know how much we love him. I can't think of his name. Blaze. Justin Blaze. Is that oh, right? yeah, Justin Blaze. Like, he's a monster. <laughs> he's a monster. <laughs> That beats any drum machine. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And right, everyone, yeah. everyone doing trap music about the same thing. I'm like, okay, I'm bored to death now. You're yeah. absolutely I'm right. Always gonna, like, I'm always going to want to go out and dance, dance my face off. But you know what? It's nice to also then just kind of reel it back a little bit, keep what's new, add a little bit of the beautiful yeah, aspects no, of what exactly went what on before, about. merge them together. A marriage of them. Right, but, exactly, but you know, exactly. And, and I speaking totally agree of, with that. Right? That is why um, I love uh, when we attend the open mics yes. at the Rose Hill Hotel. Rose Hill Mondays. On Mondays with Bobby Aquito and Tico. both Tico and, yeah. and, and both Melanie, you know. But both Melodies, two yeah, Melodies. Two Melodies at the Rose wow. Hill every Monday because yeah. you see the different type, you know, the, 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 the electric. That el eclectic, eclectic sound, yes. and, and one can be, you know, R and B. The other one's soulful. Last time Next we were there, wasn't there like an opera there's singer? An opera singer. Yeah. Then they, you know, then you have the, the hip hop, you know, you know, singing Bruno, Mar you know, yeah. and so yeah, yeah. you bring in different elements and you 
the different style that whoever's there is enjoying, um, you know. The, and people the, want to listen. So if yeah. someone like you coming along, which you, there, there are, you know, yeah. people that are singing words that people are actually paying attention to. It's yeah. not a whole bunch of people standing there chatting and drinking. It's like it's a big library. It's like a kind of speakeasy. It's beautiful. Now, don't get me wrong, though, because yeah. I, I, I also am on her side of the fence with that, too, because I'm like a, I'm an artist, and yeah. I refuse, like absolutely refuse to get old, like vocally, uh, musically, anything yeah, like that. Anything. No, if I hear, like, I, I got know. records where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this dubstep, but I can't help but put content in the stuff. Yes. You know what I mean? But I, but I yeah. definitely. Like you want to stay relevant as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you, you should. Gotta, you have to. You want to stay relevant, but then good music is always gonna be good music. Thank a good you. chord progression is always gonna hit hard. Yeah. So one of the best things you could do now is make a great melody and chord progression, and then throw some crazy weird drums over it that are modern, and then it, their brain is just it has to love it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. So gotta... who are you listening to now? Who who out there? Um, right now, oh, this is kid my uh, i went to school with him his name is john bellion he's he's got a record out that's pretty crazy um i always listen to the biggest people out okay. like i just can't help it like like sean mendez type stuff mm -hmm. um I'll yes. Feel, yes. yeah yes. I'll, I'll make myself listen to some six nine and stuff like that i don't i won't actually like play the over well, and over you, like you i'll listen to what in mood you gotta be in a certain mood no i can't know? even like... listen to it i don't have i don't have that i don't have that mood i have that okay let me hear what's going on over some, here yeah, and i'll listen to it once and i'll be like okay i got okay. it i get i get i, I don't right. know but i like to fish. move and i like to party you know and, and yeah. if i'm doing something in the gym or if yeah. i'm you know uh, we we have a pool table in my home so if we're playing pool or something we're in that vibe you know it just pumps you up and you know it's just in the car from you know to keep myself uh awake if i'm driving far you know i play this just to get me pumped i understand that is it you you know what's crazy is like a lot of people didn't understand it. i've been in relationships with people didn't understand this about me like i can't i love i love 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 you know uh biggie and Pac, but i'm the wrong guy to listen to a record where anybody's getting shot or anything because the next day i'm gonna have on baggy pants <laughs> you know what i mean i'm gonna be like yo what you need i got you you know what i mean where we at i'm gonna go chill with my cousins in brooklyn like it infects me. Music infects me. Words infect me that's so hard. That's wonderful, though. It's good, but and that's what I'm saying. But then it makes me seem like I'm biased, and I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like I'm gonna. No, I'm you're gonna, a sponge. I'm gonna switch it up. You're I'm a sponge. It, you know, so I gotta be careful. When's Whatever your birthday? Uh, August. August second. So you Virgo? No, the other uh, Leo. Leo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you're a you're sponge. A Leo. Yeah, yeah, uh, sort of. Uh -oh. I guess this is, this is an interview. This is an interview. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Only, only when he spits those bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, the monster come out. Come out. I start making crazy faces. They'd be like, call me the but, wolf. That, but you know why? But um, I always say this. I don't know why I always bring this up, but because he made a good point in what we, you know. Yeah. One time I seen a, uh, an interview, a short interview. I, I quickly was um, going to the channels, and they were interview um, J um, Fifty Cent. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then Fitty. They, Fitty, 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 Fitty. Okay, Fitty, Fitty. Fitty. So then they were asking him. I think it was you know one of the late talk shows, and they had asked him. Oh, so we heard that you weren't so fond that you didn't like uh, Jay Z's new album. This must have been whenever you know. Oh, yeah, that's what he asked. So Fitty says, um, no, it's not that he doesn't like his album. And he started to explain, you know, mm -hmm. that back in the day, blah, 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 everything was very lyrical, you were deep in things, whatever. Yeah. But now, because yeah. times are changing, so now he feels with his album, he feels he's got to go with the times. It's all about the beat and how you hear it and what yeah. they hear it. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much that he didn't like his album per se, but it was just like, I guess, so typical Jay-Z that yeah, yeah, it just yeah. feels like, yo, you uh, gotta get moving. with the time, yeah. you know, you gotta, and that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, like yeah, now, yeah. because we, you know, in the generation where they listen to different music, we just yeah. have to learn, I guess, to adapt, but it doesn't mean that we're gonna forget, you know, our music yeah, or yeah. how we, you know. It's you just, know what though, with someone like Jay-Z, who, who does he, what does he need to prove and who Yeah, who's he got an answer to, you know? He's Jay-Z, if he was just an up and comer, then right. yeah, you know what? Get with the times, bro. Yeah. But he's not. Right. He's Jay Z. Right. He can do what the hell he wants yeah. to a degree. Yeah. Um, just Everything you know, except for cheat on Beyonce. You can be like Chrissy. Uh, Chrissy, we miss you. But you can be like Chrissy. You can say anything you want. Nothing censored. Because if Chrissy was here, she'd be cursing up a storm. Oh, well, okay. you know, I have children, <laughs> and you know, they don't have school tomorrow, so they might be watching uh -oh, with daddy. Okay. So we're being good. Today. Even though they kind of know the F and the Bs or whatever, but you know, I don't want to say it in public. <laughs> so they kind of know them. Oh you know? my God. But, yeah. but still, I love the fact that you you you're aware of listening and making sure that you're still in and know what's happening out there but still yeah. keep with what you inherently want to put out there which yeah. is true to you I, it's, yeah. what, it's what i want to put out there and like i said it's a life change for me like it's not that i'm a life change person but i mean i think that 
we don't even realize that what we're digesting when we listen to I'm not a nerd. I'm not a cornball Christian No, guy. but I was going to say, I that's love, very spiritual. I love God. Joe Austin love God. says that a lot. Like, yes. Just, we really don't realize it. And like, it's just like, I mean, like, this, this, just my testimony is too crazy. Like, I've been oh. through too much. I've dealt with too many women, like, numbers you're not supposed to have, you know? So, like, yeah, that well, that's stuff for me. It, like, makes, you the, the person it makes me the person right? I am exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. It makes you the person you yeah, are. Exactly. It makes your wealth of, of writing material, yeah. like, enormous. But it also camouflages me, too, you know? So okay. I can get in, I can make records that can get into the club, yeah. and they be vibing to it, and they don't even know, like, I'm talking about. I loved you, but it's not working out. I got to dip because I'm not going to get famous if we do this. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, oh, I'm feeling it. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, that's what I love. There's a lot, there's a lot of that coming out too. Like uh, even even Sean Mendes, I feel like he's got like records that are just like, you don't realize it, but he's talking about positive stuff. He's like, oh, I should just leave with this more. girl, need, but I can't, you know. I can't do, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. not in my we blood. Need, I can't do whatever. Yeah. Blah, 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 and we need you know, more of that. We need a lot mercy. more positivity. You know, like we were talking about people. Adam Levine people. and Cardi B, perfect example of a record to me. Oh, I feel like I you could. That. I feel like you could blend uh, perfect. Thank you. Know? you uh, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. More positive people, please. We need to get you know along. We're in the Thanksgiving spirit here. Friendsgiving. Yeah, Friendsgiving. But before we we leave the night, because always you know when we chat it up we forget that you know we have such a good time that oh, our time oh, we run out, out of time yeah. oh, we need snap. to tell them where can they find you your music um you can find me on um right now i'm on a company called uh breaking hits so www.breakinghits.com and then forward slash either party 105 or forward slash my name which is lem like a lemon l-e-m and then my last name is p-a-y-n-e junior so breakinghits.com slash lempane junior and um, everything else is just Lem Payne Jr., Instagram, Facebook, all that. All right. And YouTube everywhere. So, all right. Well, we can't wait to. You're going to be performing for us um, soon. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for um, yes. coming down. Thank um, you. Linda Lynn presents Could Be You TV. And definitely, we would love to hear you, you know, come back again and hear more stuff, you know, that you have going on. Okay. And we're definitely going to connect, and yes, um, yes. we just can't wait. Um, um, can we go on commercial break, hold on. Bobby? But once you finish performing, <laughs> then you can have some wine. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Maybe, maybe. We'll All see. right. <laughs> we'll awesome. be back with Lem Payne. All you need to know is it could be you. Yeah, come sit down here. Okay. So there you have it, amazing. Pie, so pie, what we're gonna pie, have pie, now, pie, pie, because we just pie, have to come pie, and. Um, pie, 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 hey, sexy you. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm wearing my Thanksgiving dress. Apparently, I have. We have to I have. Realize. This is gonna be our Thanksgiving dinner right here. It is. We just jump straight into um. Well, listen. I was listening to someone today. They were said. They said, "Can they just have um ice cream for dinner?" Whoa! I like, where? I was on the radio. I was like, "What? You want ice cream for dinner? Who how said does that? that? I don't remember who it I was." I can. I can do that though. Really? I could. I feel like I would be like I would be nauseous. Uh, you know no, I, mean? I can have ice cream. It depends. I'm not a chocolate eater, so um. Okay, I you're don't lucky. Know. I'm but a chocolate I eater. I love. I love cakes like this. Oh, I love coconut. Custard pie. If anybody, <laughs> if I'm sending anything coconut in, coconut custard pie. <laughs> if you're planning um, to. I love um, flan. Anybody? Oh. Anybody flan? I'm a flan lover. Uh, but nothing chocolate. I, I'm not a chocolate lover. I don't like chocolate ice cream. I don't like chocolate cake. What about chocolate girls? Chocolate girl. Well, I have a beautiful chocolate one right next to me. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop. Oh, we have Tiana. Tiana says, "And Loretta Hi. always makes me laugh." <laughs> Because she's so silly. Loretta's very silly. I know, I know, I know. My daughter tells me I'm weird. Oh, how funny. So is she. It's all right. But um, let's, mm. let's taste this. Mmm. Mmm. Listen, it, look, listen, if it's crummy, yeah. apple crumb apple crumb was my favorite thing growing up. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh -huh. And mm. it goes so well with my Godiva chocolate. Mm. All right. Mm. So our guest is going to perform shortly, mm. or now, and I can't wait to hear him. So mm. everybody, go to Facebook and watch him. Mm. And happy Thanksgiving. Mm. This is so bloody good. <laughs> it's the way that you get to me. Can't even explain it lyrically. You're changing my ways and my energy. Without you, I couldn't say where I'd be. You're the perfect match to my favorite whip. And I don't feel wrong, but you know what it is. I'm missing your body like that. Missing your smile like that. Wanna say sorry like that. But I'm at this party like that. Chasing this money like that. Need that go worry like that. Need that go rolly like that. This ain't no hobby, goddamn. And it's your problem with them. I say I want it, but damn. All this shit got me like that. Your body like that. Missing your smile like that. Wanna say sorry like that.
Ferrari like that But I'm at this party like damn Chasing this money like damn Need that Ferrari like damn Need that Ferrari like damn This ain't no hobby got damn I said your problem up damn I say I want it but damn All this shit got me like damn Got me like damn Been all that weed Maybe that bitch that I didn't need Or maybe that bread that I never stashed Maybe that son that I never had I just light a match Blow it up and smoke Take another sip And then I let it go Let it go I been through the country, I killed it in public I could've went harder, I fucked up, I done this I do it, I young this, I was this The truest of artists, I live this, I love it I want it, but damn I'm trying to get to you the fastest way I can But you know I gotta get to this money, so I'm gonna be missing your body like damn. Wanna say sorry like damn, but I'm at this party like damn. Chasing this money like damn. Need that Ferrari like damn. Need that Ferrari like damn. This ain't no hobby, goddamn. That ain't your problem, but damn. I say I want it, but damn. All this shit got me like damn. Got me like damn. Missing your smile like damn. Wanna say sorry like damn, but I'm at this party like damn. Chasing this money like damn. Need that Ferrari like damn. Need that Ferrari like damn. This ain't no hobby, goddamn. Damn, I say I want it, but damn, all this shit got me like damn, got me like damn. One year in the fame, it was that or her. Now I'm drinking, singing in the biggest clubs. And when I'm out in LA, smoke the greatest butt. But that don't mean I don't be missing my baby. I still be missing my baby. Money in the fame, it was that or her. Now I'm drinking, singing in the biggest club. Hey, it's your boy Len Payne Jr. I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Charity, what up? I see you, big sis. I love y'all. Check out Lem Payne. Um, thank you all mm. for tuning in tonight. Mm. Um, you know how much I appreciate you all, all my supporters, all my Facebook, Instagram, my friends, my family, those who don't even know me. You give me so much love um, day in and day out. Um, all the good and positive people exactly. overcome, you know, the negative. Um, yes, always, you know, I always embrace everybody who, who is there for me, and I appreciate them, and I appreciate you. Oh, my darling. Yes. Listen, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, like, living. Yes, absolutely. That rhymed. Am I a song right Okay, now? but uh, no? everybody oh, have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> we will see you next week. Once again, Tuesday night, 9 p.m., mm. Linda Lynn presents Coopy UTV. Be good to each other. Be good to each other. Los amo. Los amo.